we all know that you can install Linux on a regular old desktop or even an actual toaster, but today we're going to be installing it on my Android phone. Now there are a few applications that we'll need to let Linux run on our Android phone. These apps are called Termux, Andronix, and we'll also need Real VNC Viewer. These applications do not replace the Android operating system, they simply let Linux run as an emulated device inside of Android. Next is Termux, and this is a CLI emulator or command line interface emulator that you can run on your Android device. I'm watching a tutorial over here. You can see, kind of see it back here on the right. They put in a Termux dash chain dash repo. <gasps> that does do something. Okay, enter, and they did that one. Hey, let's go. Things are happening. Let's freaking go. Okay, and then it looks like the next thing that they did is just PKG update and enter checking availability of current mirror okay that looks good that looks good these look like good things it says it's working oh i see 404 errors which speaking of become a 404 error right now by joining as a member okay i don't think these are actually working because in the back you can see metadata integrity cannot be verified it says possible cause for a repo is under maintenance or down it does not have a release file um that's cool I installed a different version of Termux from GitHub, so we're going to see if this one works. It looks a little bit different, so I'm a little hopeful on this one. Okay, so now when I do change repo, it only has main repository, so I'll click that, and then default repositories, please, fingers crossed. Hey, it looks like it's doing stuff. Okay, maybe that was... Okay, yeah, cool. It looks like that one actually worked. Go GitHub. So the next thing would be PKG update. There we go, and update. Okay, yeah, it looks like this one is working a lot better. Um, do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, we didn't get this last time, so cool. It looks like that is all finished. The first application that we're gonna launch here is Andronix. This will let you create a script to help you easily download and install your preferred distribution of Linux. First things we're gonna do is select our distro. This is not very good looking in uh, portrait, or no, it's not portrait mode, uh, horizontal mode, whatever that is. Modded OS, how do I get the modded OS? Beginner friendly, okay, I like that. Give it to me. Linux is supposed to be free, you pirates. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I just want Ubuntu, okay? I want the latest one, 2204. Okay, and we want a desktop environment, and um, I'm just gonna pick the first one, recommended. Install Termux, we've already done that. Script, execute. Please wait while the Andronic script is being executed. Okay, um, does it does it let me know when it's done? <laughs> I see the loading bar at the top, but I don't know when it's done. I'm just gonna click next. Oh, okay. Commands copied. Um, now that you are in the distribution shell, we'll have to start a VNC server to view the interface of our OS. Okay, next. Back to home. Okay, so that was really long to type. Um, let's see if it works. <laughs> okay, yeah, it does look like it is working. Cool. So that took forever to type. It was a really long command, as you guys can probably see, or as you did see. Now that that has finished, we can select our language, and obviously mine is English, but I don't see that. Never mind, you have to hit enter for more. I am stinky brained. I'm not any of these either. English, but none of those are American. English, US, 32. 32, my good sir. Oh, <laughs> now I put in 32. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, please select the layout matching the keyboard for this machine. English US, number one. Oh wait, I have to keep clicking. Okay, well, number one, there you go. All English here, baby. Hail the US, except don't. Okay, we should select US, which is 11. One, one, thank you. Time zone, I am personally Eastern, so I'm gonna put five. This little guy is done and it's asking us to provide a new VNC password. So I'm just gonna make it one, two, a three, and four, enter. Ooh, okay, start VNC with auto detect everything. Just do it for me, Mr. VNC wizard. Okay, now we have root at localhost, that's cool. And lastly, let's access our Linux distribution using real VNC viewer. We are in VNC viewer. We're going to hit plus and then it says to do local host colon and then 5901 is the port. I'm going to name this gaming beast, not bear, not beat gaming be beast. Thank you. <laughs> Connect. Unencrypted. I don't care. Okay. Let me in. Enter VNC. I made it one, a two, a three, and four. Later. Okay. I don't, I don't need all this because we're going to do our own thing. Skip tutorial. Is this, is this it? That was indeed not it. None of this ended up working and I just could not get into the install of my Ubuntu desktop. I tried installing different versions of Termux, reinstalling Linux, even turning off my VPN on my phone, but still 
nothing worked. But I did figure out that the XFCE version that I selected earlier for the desktop has some issues running on Android 12 and above, and of course, my phone runs Android 13. I did end up getting a Kali Linux install working thanks to the LXQT desktop environment, but I had no way of getting games onto it because getting games onto Kali is pretty much impossible, or maybe I'm just bad at Linux, but I was not going to give up that easy. I do have an idea that I think may just work. So my next option was to use WinLater. This is a Windows emulator made for Android devices that'll run x86 or x64 applications on an ARM-based processor. Now this process took quite a bit of time, so I'm not gonna go over it here in this video, but there are some tutorials if you guys wanna get this working for yourselves. All right, we are loaded up into WinLater. We've got a few spicy options here. I've put CSGO and Half-Life 2 on here. Now, are they gonna work? I do not know. The first one that I'm very curious about is CSGO. That would be funny to see run on a phone. Oh, I guess we're not going to see it run on a phone. <laughs> Failed to connect with Steam local client process. Steam is right here. Uh, of course, Steam's got a freaking update. You know what? Never mind. CSGO is off the table. Sorry, everybody. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try Half-Life 2. This one looks like it might load. Oh, my God. There's the freaking Valve logo. Guys, we're getting not even 30 FPS loading this game. <laughs> There is the main menu in 24 frame per second glory. Oof, we dropped down to one frame. Guys, she's struggling. Hey, there we go. There's the main menu. Okay, I'm going to click new game. Start new game. Half-Life 2. Indeed it is. Even the, even the sound is working. It's actually working pretty well, too. We're getting over 60 FPS in this game. I mean, it's just a cutscene, but still. Can we, can we actually skip this? I want to I skip, please. Okay, we're in. Wow, okay, that's actually working. I, I don't know if I can move around, though. Okay, I've plugged in a little USB-C adapter to this cable. We're gonna plug it in there, and that is our keyboard. And it actually works. Holy. Guys, I'm playing Half-Life 2 on a phone, and it's getting 30 FPS. This is actually extremely playable. What the heck? <laughs> hey, don't do that to that guy. That's rude. Hello. Ow. Hello. Ow. <laughs> Do it. Kill me. Yes. <laughs> I long for the abuse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, would I recommend this? Yes, actually. <laughs> it's pretty convenient. And I mean, it runs x64 on an ARM processor. So, I mean, yeah. But would I recommend this for gaming? No. I mean... If you really wanted to game on the go, there's some better handheld devices than a phone, so no, I would not really recommend this. But if you want to see me put more OSs where they don't belong, watch this video here where I installed three different OSs on my laptop.